Welcome along to this week's Limerick County Matters. Here's what we've got coming up for you this evening. We continue on our literary trail with Limerick Writers' Centre. On the Nail is held once a month. We went along to the Buttery to catch up with organiser Dominic Taylor and July's guest readers. But we have wonderful writers in Limerick and one event that celebrates them is On the Nail in the Buttery. It is held by Limerick Writers' Centre once a month and we went along to see this month's poets. Tell us what's happening here in the Buttery this evening. Well, tonight is our On the Nail Literary Gathering. We have it on the first Tuesday of every month here in the Buttery in a wine bar in Bedford Row. And uh, it's been going for over seven years now. And, uh, you know, it's our flagship uh, public event where we get uh, readers, uh, guest readers, and our own writers, local writers, to, to read their work, whether it's poetry or prose. And it's a great turnout for this every month. Well, yeah, it's been building steadily over the years and we have a, a consistent following of people. So uh, we're never short of people anyway in the audience. Tell me, tell us how it started out. Well, it started off as uh, part of the Limerick Writers' Centre, which has been going since 2008. And uh, we have a lot of writers coming into the centre who do uh, workshops, they do they have peer critique groups. So we wanted an event uh, mainly for them. To, to read the work that they've created in the Writers' Centre and it's expanded out from there so we know we welcome everybody in at the moment. That's incredible and you know Limerick does have such a wonderful reputation of having such rich literary artists. Mm -hmm. Yeah I mean if, if going back over through the years we've always produced uh, top class writers uh, not just poets we've had Desmond O'Grady of course our, our most famous poet I suppose and we've had um, uh, Frank McCourt in the uh, prose department the fiction department but uh, through the years, there's always been a, a, a series of writers coming through uh, from the grassroots. Uh, Kevin Barry, I suppose, is the latest one that uh, comes to mind. Our bid for 2020 as European Capital Culture has really gripped people. And uh, you know, they're engaging with the events uh, much more now than they ever did before. So to see the benefits of uh, having a, an active and vibrant cultural scene. Now, our special guests um, this month are Edward O'Dwyer and Newt Skinner. Edward O'Dwyer is a native of Limerick City, where he lives and writes. He has been published in many journals throughout the world, including the Forward Book of Poetry, 2015. He was selected in 2010 for Poetry Ireland's introduction series and has been shortlisted for a Hennessy Award, the Desmond O'Grady Prize, and the Northwest Awards Prize, among others. He has also been nominated for Pushcart, Forward, and Best of the Web prizes. Edward O'Dwyer's debut collection, The Rain on Cruises Street, appeared in 2014 from Salmon Poetry. Edward O'Dwyer. Hello, Lisa Paris, complaining about how steep the Moulin Rouge is, walking back to the hotel under stars and moonlight. We'll always have Paris, memories to put any woes or regrets to right. So stop, don't say it, that we were never even there. Say we'll always have Paris, my darling, with you gone. I will be saying every day, we'll always have Paris. Uh, we're here tonight at the Buttery uh, because there's a poetry reading going on. Uh, these on the nail sessions have been going on in various venues uh, for the last few years and uh, I've been I'm delighted to be the guest poet uh, along with Knut Skinner tonight so I'm here to do what I hope will be a reading people will enjoy. Developing a craft uh, in, for poetry in Limerick is probably easier than it is in some other parts of the country. Um, with the White House uh, poetry readings going on for the last 13 or so years, uh, there was a space for it. There was a uh, place for me to go with my poems, to read them, to meet um, like-minded people, but also people who have been successful poets for a long time would uh, come as guests and read their work. Very often I'd have the opportunity to talk to them afterwards. Uh, even buy their books, read their books, because you know, I, I, if you're going to get any better, you have to uh, you have to dialogue with people about the craft. He looked for emptiness in his life because this had become the fashionable thing. Everyone was getting their own emptiness. It was all the neighbors could talk about, comparing the gaping voids of their souls like salaries or new cars. 
You were nobody without one, as celebrities fought for the headlines of magazines and newspapers and websites specializing in emptiness, plumbing the depths of the hollow places in their selves for all the world looking on. Oh, I think that poetry has indeed had a renaissance here in Limerick. It's been going on for several decades, I guess, but it's, it's gathering steam all the time. It's happened with the readings at the White House. It's happened with uh, On the Nail. And uh, uh, just the, the, the Limerick Writers' Center uh, has done a great deal to promote it. And there's just a, uh, oh, I don't know, a lot of young people here writing poetry, and it's very exciting to see them. Uh, they're not just all old fogies like me. <laughs> Bright orange light from a mid-September sun highlights gradually turning leaves on scrubs and trees. Cattle look up wide-eyed as we make our way, one foot following the other, toward the ordinary light of day. Dominic, if people want to find out more about the Writers' Centre, how do they go about it? Well, through our website would be the primary source, right? www.limerickwriterscentre.com And, of course, these days, is, uh, the era of social media, Facebook, I suppose, is the most immediate way of finding out about our up-to-date events and what's happening on a day-to-day -day basis. So, just, again, Limerick Writers, Facebook, Limerick Writers' Centre is, is where to go. Well, Dominic, thank you so much for taking the time to speak to us this evening on Limerick County Matters. Delighted. Thanks very much. Thank you. A great night and a wonderful We're out of time here on Limerick County Matters for this evening. Thank you so much for watching. Join us back next week for more.